Okay, everyone. <clears throat> I'm home. Hi, hi. See the arrow there? I just wanted to show you that before it disappeared. Hi. I'm... Oh, see, I get good timing because it's gone. I'm Gerander, and welcome to Geranderlandia. And I wanted to show you that arrow because I'm up here at the mob, the spider spawner, at the uh, platform. And the arrow's gone. And I came up here, um, I was changing swords. Let's look at my inventory quick. Oh, that's not inventory. That is inventory. I've got a couple stones, stones, <clears throat> stone swords. And one of them has been used now because I panicked. I was coming, I went up and uh, I was getting the stone sword so I could do some enchanting of swords. And uh, maybe get the sword that I really want, even if it isn't the sword that I deserve. I think that was a misquote of some sort. But as I passed by here, I heard mob noises, so I thought I'd check it out. Came around the corner, and there's a skeleton standing right there. I whacked him with the sword. It may have fallen into the water. It may have died. I'm not sure. Um, it missed me, which is nice. And then I looked in the catch basin. There are two creepers in there. So things are falling and not dying, and I'm not sure. Oop. Not sure exactly why that is. But we'll deal with that in the morning. Right now I need to go sleep. <clears throat> because I don't know how they got there. I, I I should be outside of spawn distance. Or no, not outside, movement distance for these mobs. Um, so things are, are spawning inside the spider spawner and moving around even though they are outside of movement distance. So there's something about this that I don't fully understand. So... Um, those people that are really smart and know these things, feel free to explain it to me, because I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, outside of 32 blocks from me, they should not be moving around, but maybe that's just horizontal distance. So maybe, while I'm all the way down... That can't be true, though, because I come all the way up here and everything down there on, on the ground despawns, right? I don't know. I don't know. Um, you, you explain it to me, because I can't explain it to you. So somebody's got to do the explaining, and it can't be me. So, there you have it. So now that I'm doing this, I'm going to uh, push the button. And I know what they say, don't push the, push the button. But I'm going to push the button, because I want to get rid of those creepers. And I also need to figure out why things... I think things are falling and landing on top of the glass and not dying because they hit the glass. There's three creepers now. What if this skeleton right up here had been a creeper instead? So my guess is that the skeleton hit the top of the glass... Jump down here or over there at one of these spots, and uh, that was it. So here we go. Ready? Three creepers, or is that four creepers? So, and they're taking a little bit of time to die. Why is that? Are they spawning on top of the dispensers? Can they do that? Huh. Anyway, this is something I'm gonna have to look into. I need to do something because we D did see. We did see something drop and hit the top and then step in. We know that happens. Um, maybe something spawns on top of the dispensers as well. So I may need a drop shaft of some sort to keep things in line with the platform. The other option is to expand the platform, and I don't know if I want to do that. Oh, more glowstone! Yay! Okay, so there we, there you have it. That's uh, I wanted to show you that quick, and I'm going to see you um, at the bottom, and I'll show you what I'm doing in just a little bit. Hi, everyone. Um, here I am back. I'm back in the uh, the fish farm, in the little um, sleeping chamber in the fish farm. And um, here's a stone sword with Bane of Anthropods 1 on it. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing all the stone swords from the um, residential areas and replacing them with enchanted swords. I mean, that's good for the residents. If they need to kill something, it'll be a little bit better for them. Um, but I need these stone swords so I can make that diamond sword. We need to finish We need to finish the double deke up. And the only thing that's lacking is that sword. And I've not had really good luck with enchanting diamond swords, as you know. Um... I've got some that are okay, one that I got pretty close but didn't, and I'll show you that in just a moment. I should have one in here. That, hopefully that's enough. I'll take all of them. Okay, so, so I've got this one, um, Bane of Anthropods 3, that's not worth the, the trouble, but I got this one because I, I got a couple of enchantments. I got Knotback and Sharpness on it, because so I thought, is this the one? And so that's what I named it, but then it locked out. Um, 
Yeah, I can't even get the next enchantment on it. 33 for flame, uh, fire aspect 2, and so there's going to be no mending on this one either. So this is a little frustrating. Um, I'm not using my frustrated voice because I'm... I thought I heard creeper noises. I'm a little paranoid now. Anyway, so there you go. That's what I'm going to try and do. Let's let's mend up this one. Can I do that? All right, maybe I need an anvil. But let's try... Let's try a couple more. Let's see what's happening here. And I'm just going to do one at a time. Um, let's go upstairs to the anvil. And do it here. Because this maybe this one is better luck. Maybe. Like so. And then we can do this. And this. And that. Hey. Now we've got a fully functional stone sword. All right. Now, let's see what happens. Oh, I need um, the other stuff. Lapis. The other blue stuff. The less shiny blue stuff. <clears throat> right there. Oh, put that back. Oop, down. Also note I, I replaced the doors. I'm sure they're going to break because I don't understand um, mob movements the way I thought I did. But I can't bear... Oh. So much stuff. So much stuff to, top out, to talk about, to whap at. So look at this right here. Oh, I can't just... There we go. And look at this right here. At some point, I must have been looking for a crafting table and did not see the one either under here... Well, I must not have seen the one right here. And so I put one under there. This is why I'm not a professional YouTuber. Uh, Minecrafter, because I just don't make sense. All right, so, mm hmm, hmm, hmm. What do we got here? Sharpness three. Do I do it? I mean, if it's only sharpness three, I'm not going to get full enchantments. I mean, I, we got to try it. Try it. We want the sharpness on there, right? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, um, hmm. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't. All right, but I've got seventy-eight levels. I mean, what else am I going to do? Might as well try it, right? Hmm. Let's see what kind of books we have. This is the last thing for the double deke up, and then we have to do our backup gear um, project. So that's backup gear project. Bug pee. I need sharp. See, fire aspect didn't get on there. Sharpness four, we need that on there. We need sharpness three. Yeah, I'm going to gather some books. I'll be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back, and I may have what I need, I may not. Um, we've got only sharpness 3, so we need a sharpness 3 on there. We have a sharpness, I think I grabbed a sharpness 4. We need a name for this too. Um, I'm going to call it Jer Anders Doom. We need another book. So what else do we have? We need um, Unbreaking, Looting, Sweeping Edge. We have unbreaking, so we need our looting. Let's try looting. Looting. Sweeping edge. Oh, see? <clears throat> Knockback. We need fire. Do we... Knockback and... See, it's not going to work. I mean, that's the max enchantment we can do there, so 33. So we're not going to get the fire aspect or the mending on there, so we need a better... Mm. This is going to be my doom. This is going to be my downfall. This project is going to kill me. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. And I, yeah, I... Mm. So, I, what am I going to do about this? Maybe I should replace all these swords. Oh, does this person have a sword? This, maybe they get a diamond sword. I think that'll do. I, and yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit of sorting of enchantments and things, some books, and we'll see you in just a moment. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Um, I ran around and did a bunch of maintenance thing. I'm not going to bore you with by whapping at them. Um, but I've decided I want to go on an adventure. And this adventure is going to be a place where I've never been before. And uh, we're going to get, we're going to start our adventure by doing another run, and it's going to be in a different direction. It, we have some portals set up on the islands over in, in uh, that direction over there. <clears throat> um, let's check our F3.
facing west, in the west direction. And I'm going to go to the first, furthest one to start my adventure. Um, we actually haven't been there before. We got our dark oak there. And we found the zombie village over there. Ooh, ooh, hi, yeah. Pigman Ray. Yeah, we... Why don't professional Minecrafters have this issue? Ooh, ooh. How do I get up? I, actually, I think I'm just going to go this far. Um, I think I have another portal up there. Eh, maybe I should go up there. I'm going to go right past you. The gas does scare me a little bit, but it's okay to be afraid, as long as what you, you do what you need to do anyway. Is he a ghast? I don't see a ghast. Hmm. All right, here we go. I think this is a further port. I think it is. There's a lot of lava over there. All right. What I want to do is, if I remember correctly, in this a direction... Um, okay, so there's the other portal, right? We need to go this way. I believe there's a land with dark oaks. And sometimes in dark oaks... Uh, dark, oaks for hmm. dark oak forests, there are birch trees. I want to find a birch sapling. If I remember correctly, there are also some mountainish mountain areas there too. And so I want to see those. Uh, maybe there's some spruce. What I'm looking for are some different species of wood. Um, my oak and my acacia are getting a little bit lonely, and we both know those are the most lonely types of wood. So we want some other varieties to keep them company. So I'm going to time lapse this little journey and we'll see you in just a moment. Well, that wasn't very long. Nether portals really do shorten times. There's some llamas up. Oh, look, there's a little cave here. Let's 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 see if we can Go buy that one. I can't see anything in there. Oh, that's not that not that direction. Yeah, I can't see much. Um, so now the question is, where are there those dark oaks? I think they're over there. Wait, hold it. Is that a spruce up there? I think that's a spruce up there. How do we get up there? Some pumpkins over there. Pumpkins aren't lonely vegetables, just so you know. They're very they're very uh, gregarious vegetables. They're not lonely. Okay, can we get us? Half of our quest done already? Oh, spruce would be fun. Um, a lot of people really like spruce. I've done a little bit of building in spruce, but not in this, not in this world. So, <clears throat> maybe we can start building something with spruce. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, that was a big jump. Oh, sheep. Is that a spruce? Is it just one lonely spruce? Maybe spruce are the loneliest trees. There's more. Look at that. It's the only spruce. Maybe this is the only spruce in the world. Wouldn't that be luck? I hope I get a sapling then. That would be unfortunate if I didn't get a sapling. All right. Let's chop this thing down. Oh, and we already got a sapling. That's good. It would be nice to have some more. grab with some snow while I'm here too, but I'm not going to do that. I could make, I could make a friend. Hmm. Maybe I will grab some snow. Oh, that didn't work. Can't make a friend out of those. I guess I need a different shovel in order to make friends. I was thinking snow golems, but... But I only have my silk shovel... That means I'm going to get the snow pass, right? These little, I don't even know where it went. Maybe I won't get anything. Nothing. Nothing. I get nothing. Oh, maybe that was it. Oh, yeah, look at that snow. I have snow. Maybe I should grab a bunch of those. I don't know what I'll do with them, but I should grab a bunch while I'm here. All right, so we've got... Wow, we got seven saplings. That's pretty good. And I'm going to plant you a friend. Um, I need to remember where my boat is. Now that, yeah, now that we've got, yeah, see, this is pretty desolate up here. Oh, there's some trees up there, but those look like oak. 
hard to tell at this distance, but maybe, maybe, yeah, you'll have a friend soon. All right, I'm going to head back down to the boat, and I'll continue my journey. I'm going to find that, try and find, hold on. I was going to say I was going to find that dark oak forest, but I think it's right there. I'm going to head down anyway, and I, I thought about jumping, but I don't know if I want to end my adventure that quickly. Ouch! Oh, I made it. Okay. Ooh. All right. Is that the dark oak forest? Some coal there I can dig. Yeah, this is dolphins. I, I should name all the dolphins. Do dolphins despawn? I don't know. I don't know anything. Yeah, here's the dark oak right here. Um, so maybe we can find a birch by wandering through this dark oak forest. Maybe we can do that. And maybe we'll find a mansion. That'd be fun, too. Let's see. We're going to go into this little bay. Yeah, oak and dark oak. Okay, here we go. Um, a compass in case I get lost. I have a bed in case I need to sleep. I have a sword and a bow. Let's eat some fish. Because mobs spawn in these things, right? Including creepers. The, oh, it's almost bedtime. Already? What, that was a quick adventure. Oh, here's a birch. We're going to bed down by the birch. So birch, dark, oak, acacia, spruce. That means I just need jungle, right? And then I have all six tree species. All right. Look around. Oh, there's a couple of birches. All right, good. This is good. This is good. And we've got our sapling. Excellent. I'll try and grab some more just for fun. And I don't want to leave these leaves just despawning in unloaded chunks, because that would be that would be an awkward fate. It would be like a limbo for tree leaves. We don't want to do that. We don't want to put people in limbo. Um, leaves aren't really people, and you can't name them. Well, maybe you can name them. Maybe you have to use an anvil and name them directly. Instead of calling them birch leaves, you can name them like Steve. Steve is a good name for birch leaves, I think. Um, feel free to leave a note in the comments if you disagree. Now, did I, how many? I've got nine of those. Wow. This is a very successful adventure. Um, I'm going to keep walking this way. I think this is. I think I see some lava over here. I don't know why I want to take a look at the lava, but I thought it'd be fun. Yep, look at that. Lava. A lot of it, too. And a cow. I sh should name all the animals I come across. I should always have a stack of um, name tags on me. Um, I, d I don't know if I could have that many names I could come up with. Hi, guys. This is a nice little place here. Got the mountains in the background. Huh. We've got one of these thingies, whatever these are. Peonies? Are these peonies? I should grab some peonies while I'm here. I don't want... I, I need some bone meal. I should come back with some bone meal. And this looks like a regular old forest. This is no longer dark. Dark wood... Uh, what is it called? A roofed forest? Yeah, roses? Okay. Okay, we're getting some flowers. Yeah. Look. And that must be a birch forest there. So we're, we weren't that far from birch. It looks like a tree. Let's go up and see that tree on the top of... Oh! Wolves! You're going to eat all the sheep, aren't you? Should come back for some dog friends. They're going to eat all the sheep. Don't eat all the sheep. Well, I already... Well, I don't have... Do I, I have sheep. I have sheep. Oh! I have sheep on the main island. Look at this. We've got floating trees. That's... This is very fantasy-esque. We've got a dark, foreboding place. This would be a good place for a little house or something, wouldn't it? This might be fun to... Oh, what is this? What is this? What? How come there's mossy... Why is there mossy here? Um, And a ruin on land. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is interesting. Huh. You suppose there's something inside of this I can dig out? 
Oh, there he is. Um, nothing much interesting. What a fishing rod with lure three on it. But this is... This is quite the adventure. I didn't... Let's take this one out. Ruin on land. And there's another ruin down there. I should go check this stuff out. This is kind of neat. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I actually get pretty excited about this sort of thing. I'm... Maybe that's an, another on-land ruin. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe there's another chest in here somewhere. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh, not that I saw, saw a chest, but... Is it underground? Is that what this... Ah. Oh. Yeah, this is, this is very interesting. We've got some dirt floating up overhead. And some people really dislike this sort of a, a unrealistic... Uh, air quotes there. So, did you see them? Um, even though I have an axe in my hand, I still do the little finger things. Um, and or like that little floater thing over there. People dislike this unrealistic topography. But, oh, another turtle. I should name all the turtles. But let's be clear. Uh, Minecraft is not a realistic game in any way, shape, or form. What is down here? This Oh, this may just be a cave. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. So anyway, I, I like I liked the, the floating island stuff. And note I have a compass on me in case I get lost. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a little uh, travel log time lapse. I'm going to wander around a bit. And uh, we'll see you in a little... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll clue you in when something interesting happens. So we'll see you in a moment. Hi everyone. I found something interesting. Sheep. Sheep aren't interesting, never mind. I found real horses. Not skeleton horses, but real ones. Look at this. Look at this, and they're white. Like all good horses are white, right? Ride in on a, on a, a white stallion to rescue the damsel in distress. Um, not that damsels in real life need rescuing, but sometimes they, they'd like a little assistance, just like sometimes men would like a little assistance. Um, also, here's a swamp. I don't know if there's anything interesting in a swamp. Oh, black sheep are in a swamp. Here's a witch hut nearby. That'd be fun to see. But I just kind of thought, um, maybe I shouldn't explore too much, because there's going to be slightly different uh, generation. Maybe I, I'm, I'm eliminating the ability of pillager outposts to spawn. Or maybe witch huts spawn differently in swamps now, and I don't want to ruin the chances of that. So, um, I think I'm going to cut it here. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, the night is coming. I'm going to say goodbye before the night comes. So, thank you for watching. If you liked, feel free to like. If you really liked, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time on Gerandolandia. Goodbye.